So we're starting to use this clock to deal with fractions like one third and one sixth and one twelfth. Um, let's look at the first problem here, a half and a third. Well, a half, you can think of that as half the clock, right? All the way around a full hour, half way around brings us to 30 minutes. So it's 30 minutes plus a third of an hour. But we don't really refer to a third of an hour when we're talking about time. We can think uh, of this circle being broken into three equal pieces. And how would that look? Well, here's our first piece. That's a third of an hour. And another third, and another third, right? Those are thirds. Every third fills this circle one third of the time. And that's 20 minutes. We can see that right there. So really, we can think of a third as 20 minutes. And you can, I think, visualize that when you think about this. So we have a third, 30 and 20, it's 50 minutes. Look at a little arrow here, because it's not really equal. Um, now we go back to fractions. So what's this going to be? 50 minutes is like 50 out of 60 of an, it's out of an hour, right? So it's 50 out of 60 minutes, or 5 sixths of an hour. And all I did there was change 50 out of 60 to 5 over 6. Now in the next problem, we still have our half, right? That We had it right here, and now we have it over here. And we have a sixth. We can think of a sixth as half of whatever one-third is. Like, for example, if we have whatever, if we have a, a box of candy, and we give it to three people, each person gets one third. Well, what if we went back and said, oh, forget that. Let's give each person not a third, but a sixth. Well, what, what will happen to those pieces of candy? They'll be cut in half, right? Because thirds, each person gets a third of this piece. Sixth, we do another three pieces. So altogether, now we have six equal pieces. One, two, three, four, five. Instead of three equal pieces, and everyone gets one sixth of uh, whatever this was, candy or whatever. And all I'm saying there is that a sixth is one half of a third. So if a third was 20 minutes, a sixth has to be 10 minutes. And that's what's so cool about the clock model, is that every time you see one sixth, you can just think 10 minutes. And then a half, we have 30 minutes. So that gives us 40 minutes, or 40 out of 60, 4 sixths, or 2 thirds altogether. And we can see this on the clock, right? Every time we hop a sixth of the total difference, we go this far, 10 minutes. So there's a sixth, a sixth, a sixth, a sixth, a sixth, and a sixth. So in this model, when you see one sixth, just think 10 minutes. And we carry that here into this problem. We have a sixth, again, it's 10 minutes. Three twelfths, you might recognize that as one fourth, right? Three goes into 12 four times, so it's a fourth. Um, we can reduce it by dividing both numerator and denominator by, by 3 to get 1 fourth. And so we have a fourth here and a fourth there. Um, but we don't have to do it that way. We can think of twelfths. Twelfths are very easy to think of on a clock because they even lay, lay them out into 12 equal pieces. That's what these numbers are representing, 12 equal pieces. That means that every chunk like this is 1 twelfth the total. So a twelfth is just 5 minutes. So 3 twelfths is three of these. It's 15 minutes. So three twelfths is 15 minutes and a quarter here. You might have heard of this, a quarter of an hour. Another 15 minutes. Altogether, that's 30, 40 minutes. So 40 minutes or, we're out of room here, four sixths or two thirds. Same thing as before. And that makes sense, I think, because uh, here we have two fourths. That's the same thing as one half. And that's why I like these strings, because although I might not see them all, there are lots of great patterns here. Okay, so moving on, we have enough tools to deal with this problem. A sixth is like 10 minutes plus a fourth, which is 15 minutes. I'm just going to combine that because I'm running out of room here. Uh, and that's going to be, I'm blanking, 25 minutes, right? Seven twelfths sounds nasty, but really all I have to do on the clock is go up to seven twelfths, which is right here. So how much of an hour is that? Well, if you know time and how to read this clock, it's 35 minutes. So 35. Altogether, that gives us 60 minutes. Or, six, 60 out of 6, the, sorry, which is just one hour. Sorry, it's one. And that makes sense, right? Because here we have 7 twelfths, and what's left over? 5 twelfths. Add these two up to get 5 twelfths. Or, 
5 twelfths is just how much is that? Well, that's 25 minutes. That's exactly what this is, 25 minutes. So 25 and 35, this is a full hour. Open and talk. Too fast and in a too confusing of a way. And now we have three-fourths. Well, three-fourths is three-quarters of an hour. And on a clock, every quarter of an hour is just 15 minutes. So 15, 30, 45 minutes. So that's 45 minutes. I'll stick with red here. Plus two-twelfths. Well, look at the clock. Two-twelfths. Here's the two right there. That's 10 minutes. All right, so that's 55 minutes. So it's 55 out of 60. And that's what I would get for the last one. Anyway, we'll, we'll stick with these, and again, we're, we're trying to, to make sense of these fractions by referring to this clock as a model. Hope that helped.